what you should do with your gently used parts after you're done with them, and my crazy idea for an online dating site focused around hardware swaps on this episode of Ask I Fix It. Hi, it's MJ with iFixit, and as you know, we love answering your questions, and we like to pick our favorite ones and feature them in a short program we call Ask iFixit. I love this question so much, I want to marry it, so let's just get right to it. An anonymous emailer, we will just call him Chip, wrote in and asked, Hi MJ, I'm thinking about upgrading the RAM in my Mac Mini, and this brought to mind a question. What do you do with the old RAM that you're swapping out when you upgrade? It seems really wasteful to just throw it away. I'm hoping you guys can hit me to some cool underground RAM recycling program. Thanks, Chip. This is one of those questions that's so good, I wonder how we never got it before. We're in the business of helping people upgrade their stuff, so it makes sense that we'd have some advice on what to do with your used stuff when you're done with it. And we definitely have something to say about properly disposing of your e-waste, so let's get right to it. To be honest, I'm a little disappointed that I'm not aware of some cool underground RAM recycling program. But I do think it's an opportunity for us to create like an online dating site like OkCupid, but focused entirely around hardware swaps. That's something I totally would have used before I got old and married. Personally, when I upgrade my RAM or hard drive or whatever, I try to pass off my used parts onto my friends, usually for free, because in the absence of actual social skills, that's how I make and keep friends. Sometimes I'll consider posting it on Craigslist, but if you've ever had encounters with Craigslist folks, you know it can be a little awkward. So if you're sketched out by the idea of posting on Craigslist, you could use freecycle.org or swap.com, both of which I hear are very reliable. And we'll link to those down in the description if you want to give them a look. But listing stuff on the internet takes effort. And if you're not inclined to delve into the whole world of online swapping sites and you just want to get rid of your junk, then definitely make sure you dispose of it in a legitimate e-waste facility. Not all e-waste facilities are created equally. In fact, up to 80% of the stuff that's supposedly being recycled actually just gets shipped to developing countries, where it gets picked through, oftentimes by children, inhaling toxic fumes from melting down circuit boards and other parts to get at the precious metals inside. So when you're picking your e-waste facility, make sure you pick carefully. You can find certified e-waste facilities at r2solutions.org and eastwards.org, both of which we'll link to down in the description of this video. Also, there's an excellent article on ifixit.org that goes into great detail about e-waste recycling, so I definitely recommend you go and read that. So that's my spiel on hardware swapping and responsible disposal of e-waste, but my real question is, would you sign up for an online dating site focused around hardware swaps? Or is that just me? You can weigh in with your opinion in the comments below. Big thanks to Chip for his excellent question. He will be getting a super secret gift from us in the very near future. If you have a question about repair or I fix it in general, or there's a specific repair you'd like to see us do, email it to askifixit at ifixit.com and you'll have a chance to have it answered here on the program and score some free stuff. For all the latest teardowns and repair videos, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter at iFixit, and like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching and happy repairing.